the living room. Here I have my bookshelf. Lots of Buddhas in my home. This is my uh, famous blue couch. I put a whiteboard here. Yeah, one of my friends wrote this. This is my current favorite bedroom. And this spot is where the magic happens. Makeup tray. Yes? Why are you here? Okay, I know why we are here and I'm very excited to show you the place where I live. Please come on in. So this, no mysteries here, is the living room. Here I have my bookshelf, I would say my most prized possession uh, from everything that I've owned in my life. This rack pretty much here means the most to me. And if I could pick just one thing by leaving, if I had to pick just one thing, besides my passport, of course, would be my bookshelf. Of course, it's not one thing, it's many things, but you get the drift of what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, here at the entrance. So I've often spoken about my love for crystals and I've loved keeping them here at the entrance. I keep redecorating it. I keep changing the colors as per my mood. Lots of Buddhas in my home. So my friends have been categorically been instructed not to gift me any more Buddhas because I think at a certain point we had more than 10 Buddhas. So I re-gifted some of them, kept few of them. This is my uh, famous blue couch. Famous because <laughs> I think a lot of my Instagram pictures have been right here. Uh, the drawback of this couch is that it's too comfortable. And uh, I have often heard of the term couch potato while um, growing up. And yeah, this I almost was getting into the groove of becoming one because I spend a lot of time here. Uh, not so much for TV, just in general. This is where I read, I chill. I uh, When I say I'm doing nothing, most definitely I think I'm sitting on the couch. But I'm quite happy about it. It's a beautiful couch. Now this right here. I've always wanted a statement chair. And I love florals. So I don't know if it's a weakness or some deficiency in my body or something but if I see prints with very very colorful flowers that's it for me I don't care if it's trending or not if it's in fashion or not uh, flowers and butterflies but of course I don't have any butterfly themed uh, furniture or decoration in my house but flowers are a surefire thing for me I think when I see especially these English vintage prints I have a weakness for that. So of course, um, if it was left, left only up to me, I would do up the entire house in flowers, but I know that can just look not so great. Let me put it like that. So I decided to have one piece, one piece, which is all flowers. This was it. So this is the blue chase. Again, uh, lots of spots for book reading and uh, we didn't intend it to, but it became a spot for clicking pictures also. So I guess if you go through my Instagram feed again, you will see this couch too. Um, there are two blue couches. And uh, sometimes I feel like it's getting repetitive, but the pictures come out great. And I don't really need to think of what to pose. I just do this. And I have a picture right there. So uh, another favorite spot of mine, I think when I'm chilling by myself, reading a book or <laughs> playing games on the phone, doesn't matter what I'm doing. This is another spot. So this is the room where I sleep or where I used to sleep mostly. Of course, there are several rooms in the house. But uh, subject to my mood, this has been uh, precious in ways I cannot describe because you get the best sleep in this room. It's a good ceiling height. It's the most spacious room in the house and uh, there's a lot of light. And on most days, a lot of breeze too. But I don't know how the But the ventilation is great and there is this extra space. So um, some days I think my meditation or my yoga or uh, whatever. Beach me had taken to sketching. Sketching and drawing and writing. During the lockdown mostly. But this was my spot. This, I woke up and had chai and then just sat down with... Uh, I still have truckloads of paints. I think I'll have to uh, find children and give it to them. They're not being used now, but I used to use it here. This is... I put a whiteboard here and... Uh, yeah, one of my friends wrote this. Wow, congratulations, thank you. This is like another uh, great way to do affirmations. A tip given by my dear friend Yash and he had told you know you just keep saying wow congratulations thank you so one of my friends who learned it from him came and decided to write it here and she said as soon as you wake up see these words so uh, yeah I still do it on some days some days I forget if I didn't wake up in the best mood uh, this is the dressing table right here I used to use this then I changed it 
not the best dressing table because uh, from what I gather it makes you look a little more broader and I don't think any girl will like that kind of a mirror see we don't mind a uh, mirror which makes us look thinner <laughs> or taller but that's not the case with this uh, so of course I am kind of very you know I kind of know that what I'm seeing is maybe I look a little thinner in real life I don't know if it's true but uh, this used to be my dressing mirror and of course now I've switched to the other mirror just out of habit no particular reason come on let me show you so this is my current favorite bedroom this is where I uh, sleep on most days this around six or eight months back I just started sleeping here I think I got bored sleeping there but uh, it's a much smaller room compared to the other one again excellent sleep but I think that is the blessing of the house with good ventilation and good light you will get good sleep and I think as you keep getting older you start realizing the value of good sleep you sleep well you have a good day so my favorite part about the room this spot of mine right here mostly uh, <laughs> If I, you know, I get calls and they say, oh, what were you doing? And the standard answer, nothing, just nothing very great, not doing anything. Uh, There's a good chance I was sitting here and I just didn't feel like getting up. This is like the perfect spot for having your chai or even if you don't have chai, whatever beverage you're having. I tried reading a book, not so good for reading a book because the view is too distracting. I think on any given day, the breeze is great, the light is great. And uh, to wake up to this view is exactly the reason I think I started sleeping in this room. I think I've put a lot of reels about getting ready uh, on my social media and this spot is where the magic happens. So ideally I think it should be, um, there should be a full length mirror around it but I couldn't care less. I go to the other room and check myself. This is all my, <laughs> you know when we say we're doing a no makeup look and then there are like I think 50 products for the no makeup look, well these are them. This is uh, pretty much always laid out like this because I have trouble finding whatever I need. And uh, this chest of drawers, I started loving green, you know, last um, I'd say six, eight months. So I wanted some piece of furniture in green. And uh, because, you know, already I had a dressing table, I didn't want to get a whole one in green. So we just got a chest of drawers. This accommodates everything really well and helps me find what I need. Now the only drawback with this is, I tried opening all the four drawers at once and it just toppled like that <laughs> because it's jam-packed with stuff. I'm not even opening it fully. And then here, right here, is like a makeup tray. So it is, this space is not enough sometimes. You know, you're getting ready and there are a bunch of things, accessories all lying. And I need to be able to see it um, spread out in front of me to figure out what to wear. Uh, otherwise, I just kind of get very distracted and I have no clue what I'm doing. So yeah, this opens out like this. I use this. This is my space to get ready and make the magic happen. Let me show you the other place where magic happens.